So this is what I walked into when I came to uh, to Brent's today. There's a horse walker, for those of you who don't know. And we are taking it apart. So, uh-oh, we just dropped, we just dropped bolts. Jose and Miguel are, I got it, go ahead, go ahead, I got it. We're taking it apart. So I figured I better show you one more of the experiences of the things that we get to do around here. And then we'll end up moving this to uh, Brent's sister's place. So we'll go from there. You guys got tasked with taking this horse walker down for Brent's sister. So we started taking it. I, I showed up and there they are taking it down. They said, we need you, Kevin. I said, all right. So we jumped up and started just working on it. So I didn't have a chance to introduce you to what was going on. It's going to go down to Brent's sister's place because she's got some horses still and they're going to use it. And that's why we're taking it apart. So Jose's, you know, unbolting all the stuff and I'm helping him lift it. And we're trying not to knock each other off the tractor and kill each other. So this has been, kind of, it's kind of a little bit of fun to kind of watch. But then again, it's kind of a little boring going, hey, what are you doing? But we're just taking it apart so we can get it moved. We're pulling the tractor away. Not OSHA approved. Nobody said this was OSHA approved. Honest. It's not OSHA. So we're to the point of pulling these out. We've already pulled the already pulled the base out and put it outside. So now we're just pulling the uh, the uh, sports, the uprights, the outs, whatever you want to call them, the wings, the long parts. So we started working on this forklift because this is the one that we were going to leave in town. We wanted to make sure that everything was fixed on it. And I was kind of explaining to Miguel what it really was. This, this machine came out of Houston, Texas, out of like a, like a uh, transfer station for the garbage. And that's why a lot of it, you know, is kind of tore up and you'll see. But we uh, did some fixing on it, got all the leaks stopped, got it in a situation where it can be left in town until, until sod season starts, middle of April. And so that's why this forklift got to be treated the way it did. It's just now getting its final repairs done. Wind, wind can have your way. Okay. Woo. Windy day. Windy day. Holy cow. I didn't think the wind was blowing that hard out here, but it really is. So I tried to get some footage of me taking this first forklift off. Maybe, maybe the wind will die down before I get the second one out here, but boy, oh boy, the wind is crazy. All right, see you in a bit. Seriously thought the weather was gonna get better on this trip, but I got the second forklift out here.
Okay, gotta shut the gates. It's our final trip for the day. Wind is blowing. Not, I guess not near as bad as But, uh, gotta shut these gates. Make sure everything stays good. Oh my gosh, these gates are heavy. Sorry, I don't mean to make you sick. We'll listen to it. More. They have to mesh together just right, the way they got them built. I think it's kind of not a bad way to build them. They got to mesh together just about right. So, there you go. Another day in the life of SK Workshop. Me, obviously, Kevin. <sighs> Two forklifts delivered. One of them finished up the repairs. And then we get to crawl out of here on this nasty road. It's a nasty little storm coming in. I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like. It's kind of nasty. Wind's blowing pretty hard. It's kind of calmed down a little bit. But it, uh, it's a nasty little spring storm coming in. We're out here. In the middle of Cedar Valley, doing our thing. This is a rough little road out here. Yeah. Had a reduced speed sign back there. Told me to reduce my speed. I didn't know how I could reduce it from like 10 miles an hour very much. I still get out of here. But just so I get a picture of this, just so you understand kind of what we're doing out here. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Well, not really. Because there's things over here. But you know what? It's still the country out here, thank goodness. There's some of that still left in Utah. Even though I like my red dirt better. 